On the 26th of September 1983, two Soviet cosmonauts by the names of Vladimir Titov and Gennady Strekalov were on board a Soyuz T spacecraft on a mission to visit Salyut 7 space station. However, things did not go accordingly prior to liftoff. As the Soyuz T spacecraft was preparing for launch, it suddenly caught on fire as a result of a fuel leakage and the rocket was soon engulfed in flames. Fortunately for the crew on board, the launch escape system activated, just in time. Two seconds before the Soyuz spacecraft exploded. Despite suffering a few cuts and bruises, the lives of both crew members were saved from what would have been fatal, and to this day, this is the only case in which a launch escape system has been used with a manned spacecraft. On the 15th of October 2002, an unmanned Soyuz U spacecraft carrying a photon satellite was supposed to spend 15 days orbiting Earth for research purposes, before re-entering and landing near the Russian-Kazakhstan border. But that was not the case. Instead, the Soyuz U spacecraft failed to successfully lift off after one of its engines malfunctioned, which resulted in an unstable flight. Approximately 20 seconds after blastoff, the rocket started to combust and then fell straight back down and exploded. The explosion killed 20-year-old Army Lieutenant Ivan Machenko, and injured eight others, all of which were watching in a processing facility near the launch pad. A Long March 3B rocket with an Intelsat 708 satellite was to be launched into a geostationary orbit on the 15th of February 1996. However, upon blastoff, the rocket deviated off course and crashed nose down into a nearby village, completely destroying many houses and taking many lives. It is unclear exactly how many perished by the explosion. However, it was reported that at least six people were killed and 57 more were injured. The root cause of the incident was due to a poorly engineered gold aluminium bonding point inside the power output module. The Space Shuttle Columbia disaster on the 1st of February 2003 was one of the worst space disasters in history that left all seven crew members dead. Sadly, the entire crew's fate was already sealed moments after liftoff as a piece of foam insulation broke off from the external fuel tank and struck the left wing of the orbiter. The crew on board were unaware of this and proceeded on with the mission. After a 16-day mission, Space Shuttle Columbia began its re-entry to Earth. As the spacecraft ascended, hot gases rushed through a hole in the damaged left wing of the orbiter, causing the Space Shuttle to break apart and disintegrate, taking the lives of all seven crew members on board. The Space Shuttle Challenger disaster that occurred on January 28, 1986, is perhaps regarded as one of the biggest tragedies in the history of space. 73 seconds after blastoff, Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart and exploded, killing all seven crew members on board, including a civilian school teacher who had been selected to fly via NASA's Teacher in Space project, which would have seen her as the first teacher in space. The cause of the breakup was traced to a failed O-ring seal that exposed the fuel tank to pressurized hot gases, causing it to rupture. The crew compartment attached during the spacecraft's disintegration and plunged straight into the Atlantic Ocean at around 200 miles per hour, killing those who managed to survive the initial breakup. 